There's something about the people that's warm, that's inviting, that's welcoming. It's colorful, it's loud, it's vibrant, it's hot, it's just in your face Ghana. And um, from the first day we arrived, the minute orientation started doing African drumming and dancing, all these different things, I really felt like I was somewhere different, but at the same time I had felt that I had come home, um, being a, a black student especially, um, being able to see, you know, black people in Africa and to experience um, Ghanaian lifestyle, that happiness, that shared culture. Um, you know, it was a really magical experience and I remember really feeling from the first morning that I woke up in bed in, in Ghana and heard the sounds of birds that sounded like monkeys outside of my window, um, that I had come to a magical place and um, I would remember this place for the rest of my life. All of the six classes I took in Ghana, they counted for my upper division requirements here at UCI for public health policy. They were all public health oriented, so that was a really unique experience to just be able to take classes with Ghanaians and see what their culture um, gives them as a perspective and their careers as well. I took classes in the social sciences, anthropology, and psychology department, but it's a full university, so there's 37,000 students. There's all these departments that we pretty much have here. So it's really easy to find the classes that I needed. So I was able to do my practicum while I was in Ghana. I did my practicum at the West Africa AIDS Foundation in Accra, which is the capital of Ghana. I worked with MSM, men having sex with men, and children who had AIDS, and the prevention side of that aspect. I was also able to shadow the doctor for um, just regular appointments and appointments who people were HIV positive. So that was a really unique experience. So it's honestly a really cool environment to be in. You get to explore all aspects in health depending on mm -hmm. what you choose your um, practicum site to be. What intrigued me most about Ghanaian culture was just how unapologetic it was. It's very like, this is Ghanaian culture and if you're going to be here in Ghana, you have to know about it, you have to learn about it, you have to take part in it. So everyone was very like, taking you to their villages, taking you to have dinner, to try these Ghanaian dishes, showing you this is the way we do things in Ghana, this is the way we paint, this is the way we sing, the way we dance. Um, and I really felt that it was a, it's a great culture that um, gives you opportunity to kind of really experience and see the real heart of the culture. You don't have to really dig as much as maybe in other places. First of all, I'd like other students to know that Ghana is actually a very safe country to visit. I think there's this perception that African countries are not safe and um, I actually felt much safer in Ghana than a lot of other places I traveled. So one of my worries and one of my family's worries was before I left to Ghana was safety. But honestly, it was fine. I was safe. I traveled all throughout Ghana. I traveled eight out of the 10 regions in Ghana. I traveled to Togo, which is a country next door, and I was safe all the time. People are really helpful. They're willing to help the Obruni, which means the white person. I think that the greatest thing about Ghana is honestly, you have a home away from home. Even though I'm obviously not Ghanaian, I really consider Ghana a culture that it's, it's here in my heart and I will always remember it forever. It's definitely a, a, an experience of a lifetime. You'll be able to realize that Africa doesn't have this one holistic culture. Even in Ghana, there's 74 different languages. There's so many cultures within Ghana. It's this small country in Africa. So you'll be able to understand that that conception that we have constructed here in America about Africa, it's false. And you'll be able to talk about that when you come back home. To really have a transformative life experience, I really felt in the 16 countries that I've traveled to, my experiences in Ghana have imprinted me for the rest of my life. And I can honestly say that Ghana is like a second home for me. So if students are really looking for that transformative experience, then I'd say Ghana is the place to go.